Alright guys, we're back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3, last episode. We just did a lot of Colony 11 quests, unfortunately we couldn't finish the last one because the elites are so overleveled. Same with that unique monster over there, we have to come back another time sadly, I am not going to use my bonus EXP. For pride reasons. But yeah, this episode. We're gonna be continuing this was a nice find. to progress more towards the Hovering Reefs to get to our destination. Mm -hmm. And this is taking quite a while to get there. <coughs> I mean, look at it. Our next red mark is gonna be over there. I just hope we can find some landmarks that we can go to. I wonder what's around here. Hovering Reef 6. Let's get it done, Snappy. Never a dull moment, eh? Demon, yeah. come here! I'm the one who wants something a bit of teamwork to handle. Whatever happened to not being careless? All right. Anyway, look over there. Anybody else feeling curious? Gonna blast them into next week. I'm so ready. Mm -hmm. on my back. Nice. That's how you pull off a win. Yeah. See if we can keep this up. There's more over here. Gonna blast them into next week. Never a dull moment, eh? <laughs> Let's turn up the pressure. Something so vast here. It, it's not gonna strike us or anything, right? Huh, so monsters have infighting too. Let's get it done, Snappy. I'm so ready for it. No left but We got it, Muni.
this for a plan? Hit them when they least expect. I might have the answer. Great. Everyone get ready. Sorry guys, I could had to mute Mike for a bit because of the uh, personal background noise. <laughs> anyway, just trying to get to our destination. If only you didn't charge off on your own. Time for the officers to play their part. anything climbable hmm if there is though just gotta find it what's this here we go uh 
What's down Just here? Just as I thought. We can pass through here. Getting late. I'll just we soak find all somewhere this to up. rest. God is ether stuff, but I need more materials for ether. Such is the Offseer's duty. All these scorpions, and there's this elite scorpion. Gonna blast them. You know what they say about Alcaba? That you weren't aware that it was a limited time event unless you looked at all the quests. I'm like, oh shoot, it's a limited time of li limited time quest. Mm -hmm. Then something would be going wrong if it was a limited time quest. I'm gonna go on like a bit of a spoiler rant with about Al Al Alchemov, so you, if you guys don't want to hear it, you probably want to be the next climb. minute. I will say Alchemov is an interesting place. But the fact that <laughs> when they transform, it becomes ugly. Yes, I'm spoiling the game. What do you want from me, guys? Gonna blast them into next week. <laughs> Which I did not foresee coming. But at the same time, it was inevitable that that sh that she was sus. I won't say who, even though I'm. <laughs> uh. But if you guys play Xenoblade One, you'll figure out who was sus. Like she's hot, <laughs> but she was sus. But she was hot. That's what people thought of her. If she was hot. <laughs> uh. Wait for a moment. Hmm. Using that device should allow us to proceed. Push this thing here and. Okay. Of course. I'm surprised some of these things aren't landmarks, which I'm very surprised by. It does seem that whichever which whichever one we go, I believe that one the other thing takes will take us there. But I'm not going there. Going to that middle island there. Oh I just realized Oh I just realized something. There's no turning back if I go here. I have to start over from the very beginning if I go oh wait. There's a rope there. Oh, this will take so long! Why? Who could... <laughs> Why couldn't they make landmarks for these areas? <coughs> Wait, did we already been here before? Wow... Lo- alright, I'll meet you guys there. <laughs> Stop taking detours, sir. You don't know where each plaque goes. I'm going to take a detour. Alright, what hovering reef number is this? I'm very curious. Hovering reef 4. I have no idea where- what- 
the area is. Good thing we found this. But there's new monsters too. Mm -hmm. Time for a climb. God, I swear, they really should freaking put landmarks in the hovering reefs. That is so annoying. Glad is a kid though. Rook Arachno. Is that a unique? That, that has to be a unique. Oh, well, Level 40, Blazing Carlos. Why are you named Carlos? You know what? That doesn't matter. I miss. Of course he resists spray. Topple! Topple? There we go. Right. Come on, give me a chain attack. Come on. Finally. Okay, finally. I've got an idea. Do you think this plan might work? I've got an idea. I might have the answer. How's this for a plan? Everyone get ready. Uh, 147. Oh, we're not done yet. 
plan. I'll put the plan in motion. Okay, good. One more for the road. How about something like this? I use my thinking muscles for this one. Ah, uh, okay, good. Conquered. Good thing we found this. Ooh, there we go. That was a rare material. Oh, we finally get a teleport place. Thank God, and it's from an elite. Oh, thank God, it was from an elite that was like not that hard. hard. Uh, I, mean, I know I'm gonna regret this, but I'm pretty sure I'm like third of the game there. If I'm being correct. Despite me being level like 40, 47. Also, I may have to ignore these enemies. Uh, this is gonna take so long. Yeah, no, I s yeah, the only problem I have with this, these hovering reefs should have landmarks. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't do they didn't do that. Not putting not putting hovering Oh that thing right there. Oh Push is it the same path? And... Okay. Of course. Okay, so two. Okay, they're both the same. Okay, thank God. Either people could skip, or people would be interested in seeing another island. Whoa! Got a rare dude all right here. I swear, these Gladys echidnos look like that. That dinosaur. That that lizard from Overlord season two, and then we never saw the lizard arc ever again. <laughs> Spoiler alert for Overlord fans: the lizards do come back in season four. <laughs> well, they're pretty minor, but like, uh, 
guys want to know what like animes I do watch, I watched Overlord Season 4, Classroom to Re Lead Season 2, Licorice Recoil Season 2. Uh, and that's pretty much it, I think. Oh, Rent a Girlfriend Season 2, even though Rent a Girlfriend Season 2 is like, has the, the cringiest MC. <laughs> Uh, very cringe MC, but we watch it because, you know, we have no choice but to watch it. Help. Oh, what the? They do a lot. I need heals. Help! Help! This can't be happening. On your feet now, Judy. The fuck is it attacking for? So close. Okay, good. Woo, just exactly one fifty. Oh 
deal too. Don't refresh too much. Good. Overkill. Damn, that's a lot of pigs. God damn, man. I don't know why there's so many pigs here. Questioning why they haven't fired yet at this point. That looks like a good rest spot. Always nice to see a new face. Yeah, this is the first camp we've seen. Let's try Finally. Unfortunately, there's not anything we could buy. Anyway. There it is. Black Fog, too. Few enough numbers to sneak around. Is Colony 4 gonna be safe, do you think? They should be okay. We haven't seen the light for a while. I think that's a good sign. Let's move. The fact that we killed consuls must be old news at this point. Could have made examples of a few people by now. They ain't expecting us to sneak aboard, though. We've got them with their pants down. Let's get in there, mess them up, get out! Bish bash bosh! Actually... They may have already... ...anticipated our moves. Nani? Nah, mate. Come off it! Think about it. How would they have known where we'd be? Uh, They're watching us, obviously. Can't be a coincidence. I mean, sure. It could have been intuition on Ethel's part. But we have to be realistic. So it's a trap? You want to turn back? No. We'll go. They're expecting us. We can't turn back now. We can't allow their deaths to have been in vain. So you would entertain the risk? It does sound bad. You know, I think I kind of like it. Stop doing that with your glasses! Christ, Tyon! <laughs> uh. Huh? Wait, who's that? Who the hell is that? Well, guess we aren't gonna question it. All right. Anyway, let's just climb up. Time for a climb. Because I've been there. I was expecting a unique monster to be here, but I don't think so. Push this thing here and. Will it move now? Hey, 
And we activated one for all the way there, Jesus. They have the logic of these islands to make no sense at all. <sighs> Good thing we found this. Like next time Xenoblade 3, please put landmarks. They probably won't listen. But please put landmarks in these hovering reefs. But you have to kill the elite monster to kill him. I understand that, but like, at least put entertain the risk of putting like. There we go. <laughs> Come to you, Nate. I was like wondering, would it really reject me? Really, nothing I could upgrade at all. <laughs> really, I just want to upgrade something. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not a whole huge fan of the you need materials to craft gems. I'm more into getting the ether cylinders to craft the gem percentages you want. Yeah, I'm more into that. Sadly, I'm not into I'm not into this this kind of system. I know people m Yeah, that's that's not a, I'm not a big fan of that. And obviously, I can go to level 55 area if I really wanted to. But I'm, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna obviously. We're trying to get like CP for everyone. Like literally, we're trying we're literally just trying to get CP for everyone. And like it's not like I don't need it. Alright. We got the CP boosting. No, I'm just gonna use a coin. I couldn't eat another bite. I'm gonna save the game right now. Yeah, this game takes just very long. Like if you think about playing Xenoblade, this game will take a take lot of time. Like if you want to rush the store, go ahead, but like. You're gonna this miss out the best parts price. of this game is literally the expiration, which is the Reminds most time-consuming thing days, eh? in the game. Ready or not? We're getting close, though. We're seriously getting close. This whole thing is literally like a sort of online place. Literally, I'm credit. <laughs> so much to see, huh? But it's literally like a Touchdown. replica Alchemoth. To me, that is. Looks like you were right, Noah. There's a whole bunch of containers here. A welcome gift for easy sneakings! Let's go over this again. First, we get to those containers without being spotted. With me so far? Anyone spots us, we're like ninjas. We take them out quickly and silently. Once we're inside, we pick the right opportunity to proceed through the hangar. Our goal is here. The maintenance hatch that leads outside. From there we head to outer deck. Right. Enemy presence should be lower around there. Then we move to the main housing. Assuming we get there, how do we trash it? I can brief you on the next steps. After analyzing the data we got from Boliaris, I discovered a flaw in the Annihilator's construction. A weak point? Indeed. Here. The weapon is designed to temporarily render the Black Fog inactive, condense and collect it, then release it in one blast. Our best bet is to destroy the neutralizer assembly from which it draws its power. But it's located in the castle interior. Getting there will be no joke. 
Once there, we'll need to damage the autobalancer in the barrel's housing. Most likely, it was built in a hurry. The movable barrel is affixed to this outer ring that you see here. But the ring isn't strong enough to take the barrel's weight or absorb the recoil. That's why the autobalancer was added after construction, as an afterthought. So what? We've just got to smash that thing to pieces. Smash it, and the entire ring begins to fall apart, and the barrel collapses under its own weight. How strong is the autobalancer? Not too sturdy? Nothing Ouroboros can't handle. So, what's this thing? That is a refrigeration unit. The barrel needs vast amounts of energy. It would have to be kept cool at all times to keep the energy in check. I'm surprised it's so huge. Seems that was built quickly too. It's got both bulk and heft to it. They probably couldn't have made it any smaller. Hmm. A rush job, huh? Okay then. We all good to go? Yeah. No more taking it easy. Let's make this happen. So that's how we're gonna be getting in, likely. I will say, it is a pretty say, risky okay. idea. If we slid along that. Yeah, if we slid along that, then we'd be fighting these mechs down there and get to our destination. But I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm not too Gotta stupid enough to do that. Like around here. Or we could just punch clean through quick as. Huh? What's that? True. We could. We could just sneak, take this way. Oh, looks like we can go on from here. But that wouldn't be fun, would it? All we want to do is kill the elites and the unique monsters. Huh? Is that? Another ladder, looks like. Noah, would you mind? Sir, God dang it. I'm the one you want. Cheers, you're dead. No Sidewinder. Sidewinder. Good going, Uni! Alright, which one are the elites? I just want to kill the elites. Oh, 
Okay. We're getting close to our destination. Whole spark load of ether. You think this is where our colony supply came from too? This would explain how Kevis is able to deploy so many Levenesses. Ether. Alright. It's when it comes to ether, it's the main primary source of like of life itself. But this is not Xenoblade 1. Ether's more of a how do I say this? A minor thing, likely. It's not really focused on ether. It's more focused on huh. the flame clocks. Good thing we found this. And literally the war itself. But we still yet to figure out what the purpose of the war is. Wait, what? Level 64 elite? Oh my god. I don't want to fight these guys then. Maybe if we're forced to fight them. Level 39 elite. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. The transport yep. containers shouldn't be far now. You think we'll make it? I just hope nobody spots us. We're pretty sure we're gonna be spotted. Great timing. Demon Ow! I know you can do Okay. 
This is only a level 39 enemy, and it's so tough. Die, is it? Those elites, centures, I'm just gonna ignore. I just want to get that thing there. Give me that container there and then we'll be on our way. Might as well claim this. Oops, they found us. I'm the one you want. Just as planned, eh, Tyon? Just head towards the red, and then we can end off. Alright, surely they won't notice us, comrades. Hurry up and load the stuff. Go into Colony 5 into the transport. And that stuff's going to the castle. Oh my god, <laughs> these are the worst guards. Are you that? They're going to the castle. Let's hide in that container. 
Oh my god, do they not notice? <laughs> Just walking in <laughs> into the container. <laughs> okay. okay, start loading. Wow, these are the worst prison guards ever. These are the worst guards I've ever seen. How did they not notice that we're that we're going in these containers? Kevis Castle. So, where's the maintenance hatch? It's in the reserve area on the upper level. First, we'll need to take the elevator that can get us up to that floor. I don't see any guards. Too foggy for taste of banana. If we're gonna move, now's the time. That said, we are indoors. Move fast, but keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, of course. Sweet, let's poke around. Well, storage area number one. It looks like There's we been have changes to colony relations. sneaked into the base of the Kevis Castle. Alright, I guess this is a perfect time to end this. So, next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 3, it's we're gonna be exploring Kevis Castle and, and try to find the Annihilator. And yeah, I guess we'll see you guys all next time.